It is time to give thanks to God. It is time for us to give him thanks like never before for all he has done in our lives and in our families. My brothers and sisters, there is something I have noticed amongst us as children of God. When we go to a gathering or any spiritual occasion, like a church service or prayer meetings, when it is time to give thanks to God, people's voices will begin to go low and lower. But the moment they say, ask God anything that you want, voices will go very high. Why is it like that? Why are we so ungrateful to the one that gives us everything, to the one that gives us air to breathe, food on our table, roof over our heads? Why are we so selfish to give him thanks? I mean, there are so many things God has been saving us from, spiritually and physically. The ones we know and the ones we don't know. So we have so many reasons to give him thanks. He has never asked us to pay for the protection. He has never asked us to pay for the provision. All he needs from us is thanksgiving. And please do not skip this message. Listen to it to the end and you'll be glad you did. Sometimes when I think of people that goes to native doctor, to mere human being like me and you, to get charms for power and for wealth, how they so treasure the charms and abide to the rules and regulation, you know, guiding that charms. And they dare not to go back for renewal of the rituals. Otherwise, they face the consequences. Now let's talk about the 10 lepers in the Bible that Jesus healed. How many of them went back to tell Jesus, thank you, only one? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Someone that has been sick, some of them, I'm sure, they had the leprosy from birth and someone just came and healed you or healed them of their long time diseases. And they quickly forgot the one that healed them without asking them to pay a dime for the miracle he did in their lives. It was completely free of charge. Only one went back to Jesus to tell him thank you. Only one showed him gratitude towards what he did for him. Now, the story of the 10 lepers I've just told you is in Luke chapter 17. If you read from verse 11, to verse 19 you will see what happened there now let me just read from verse 12 because i wanted to have a better understanding about this now I read and as he entered into a certain village there met him 10 men that were lepers which stood afar off and they lifted up their voices and said jesus master have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Now, let me read verse 16. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Now listen to verse 17. And Jesus answering said, Were they not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God. Now listen to verse 19. And he said unto him, He said to that very one that went back to give thanks, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made the whole. So my brothers and sisters, if you look at verse 18 of that Luke chapter 17, it says, they are not found that return to give glory to God. So God expects us to come back to tell him thank you. That means the cleansing, you know, that Jesus gave to 10 of them was just the tip of the iceberg. And these other nine thought they've had it all. 
and they never went back to tell Jesus, thank you. But that one that went back to tell Jesus, thank you, was made completely whole. That sickness will never go back to him. The root of that sickness was destroyed by Jesus. And to add to that, Jesus gave him complete protection, spiritually and physically. Just because he went back to tell Jesus, thank you. And that is one thing the other nine lepers never knew. That going back to tell Jesus, thank you, they would have gotten it all. They forgot that HIV can come. Other sicknesses can still come back to them because they don't have any protection. He will do more for us when we go back to tell him thank you. And that's just the secret of thanksgiving. Most of us, we go to church for miracles. That moment we are looking for something from God, we will go to church every day. We will pray like never before. We will worship him like never before. We will shout. Our neighbors will hear our voices every night. But soon after the miracle comes into our lives, we will quickly forget the one that gave us the miracles. Some of us will never go back to church. Some of us will never remember to, to even pray at home because we've gotten what we wanted. So there is no need to tell him, thank you. There is no need to, to go back to church to worship him. That is so bad. We should change that attitude of ungratefulness. God has been so kind. God has been so wonderful in our lives. He has been so miraculous in our lives. So in our prayers today, we are going to give thanks to God like never before. We are going to give him thanks from the bottom of our hearts. That is all God wants from us. He does not want our money. He just wants that gratitude to be shown to him. He just wants us to come back and to appreciate him. And if you think and feel the Lord had not done anything for you, take a stroll to the hospital. Take a stroll to the prison. Take a stroll to the mortuary. And then when you come back, you give God thanks. Because you are not better than those in the hospital, lying there, gnashing their teeth in sickness, in diseases. You're not better than those in the mortuary that are lying there lifeless. Neither you are better than those in the prison that has been accused wrongly and have been thrown in prison for years for things they did not do. The Lord loves you so much. He's been watching over you. He has been protecting you from sicknesses and diseases. Even when you don't deserve it, and even your loved ones, the Lord protects your loved ones too. So you have so many reasons to give God thanks. At least thank him, if not for any other thing, for the air that you breathe. And then he will do more for us. And it's just very simple. This is just a shortcut to your blessings. Just give him thanks and receive more, more miracles, more new things in your life. But that seems to be very difficult in our lives as humans. I don't understand why. It's a shortcut to your blessings. Just even five minutes every day to give him thanks is enough. And God will be so glad to receive that thanks from us. And I'm urging you and I'm urging myself at this moment. Let us change our attitude of ungratefulness towards God. Let us begin to learn to appreciate him for every single thing he has done in our lives. Let us begin to learn how to appreciate him while we are waiting for answers to our prayers. Amen. From the bottom of our heart, I want us to begin to give thanks to God. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing right now, drop it and begin to give thanks to God. For his love towards you, do that now. You don't have to wait till Sunday when it is special Thanksgiving service. Then you go and dance. Dance now. Shout now in your house, in your office in worship of our almighty father do that right now do that right now he's worthy of our thanks if giving thanks to god was not important why will psalms 111 record it and that is the psalms we are going to use today to anchor this special thanksgiving prayers psalms 111 and we are going to read these psalms together. 
and we will read it from the beginning to the end. I am going to read from King James Version and I want you to follow up nicely. Before we go on to read Psalms 111, I want you to understand one more thing. You see that long worded answers to that prayer that you've prayed? It is taking long because you have not given thanks to God for the previous ones He had done in your life and in your family. So it is very important that we give thanks to God at all time, whether things are going well or not. From that habit of giving Him thanks in any situation that you find yourself. And you always see God's hand upon your life. You see Him coming through for you. So right now, let's read Psalms 111 to help us understand more about thanksgiving. Amen. And it says, Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great. Sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath showed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverent is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endure it forever. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, my prayer for you today is that you always be thankful to God. No matter how small that thing in your life looks like, give thanks to God for it. Because there's nothing small from God. Everything that comes from God into our lives is great. So from this moment onward, don't be waiting for someone to remind you to give thanks to God. In good condition, in bad condition, give thanks to God. Remember, for all things work it for good to them that love God. You have every cause to give thanks to God. If only you can sit back and meditate and look back from that ugly situation where God has taken you from and to where he had landed you. This is all I have for you today. I just came in here to remind you to be very thankful to God. And I know from this moment onward, you'll be very thankful to God. God bless you as you continue to give him thanks. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, thank you so much for still bearing with me. In a short while, I'm going to be free with my project. If you remember some time ago, I made mention of being busy with a project. Very soon, I'll be through with it. And we will be praying together every day. Thank you so much for your understanding. And God bless you. Amen. Consider subscribing and stay connected with us. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Bye for now.